We're all aware of Austin's issues when it comes to traffic, especially in the downtown area. So a group of University of Texas students crunched the numbers to see if options already exist to not only cut down commute times, but also have a positive impact on the environment. And there's already alternatives on our roads that they found have positive results. KXAN's Blake Devine joins us live from UT's campus. And Blake, what did you find out from talking to this group? Nick, you know, we all know about Uber and Lyft, how it allows you to cut down on the cost of travel and reduce gas emissions. But this group of UT students actually gathered together and got data from a company based right here in Austin. What they found is that if this company expands its services nationwide, you may find a reduction of traffic congestion along with greenhouse gases being emitted into our atmosphere. Megha Patel. It's like bumper to bumper yeah. everywhere. It's tired of traffic in Austin. I myself drive to and from work every day and it takes up too big of a chunk of my day that I could use for something else. So the senior worked with other students at the University of Texas, focusing on Fetty, an Austin-based transportation startup. The average Fetty takes about 10 people. So when you're driving on the road, there's five to 10 cars that would just be gone off the road and replaced with one Fetty. When Fetty gets here, you will click on this button right here. Fetty started rolling around Austin in 2021. <laughs> growing in popularity with young adults and college students. My favorite part about Fetty as a whole is that I get to travel with my group and not have to split up, which makes it even more fun. Sprinter van Fetties uh, with this. Matthew Aomi, the startup CEO, says they focus on large groups, keeping parties as big as 15 together in one van instead of taking several cars. Click of a button. We've got beautiful leather, a lot of space for you and your group. By grouping up groups and allowing them to ride together, we're completely removing single occupancy vehicles and attacking the problem at its source. Like not having a split up whenever we're traveling. The study also found if Fetty launched in several cities across the country. We included it into like years and then the growth projection that it would have not only in Austin, but also in bigger cities where there's more population. It highlighted the impact that we don't just have in Austin, but the potential impact we can have across the country as we scale. Study also found that Fetty's carbon emissions are on par with a single car. Now keep in mind, all of the data compiled by the student group was provided directly by Fetty. Reporting near the UT Austin campus, Blake Devine, KXAN.